Hi all, this is Jayshree Nayar and today we will study atomic structure. Before going to the details, I would like to tell some interesting fact about atoms and discovery of atoms. What are atoms? Atoms are the smallest particle of the elements. And what are elements? We have already seen in the last class. Hope you remember it. When we cut an element infinitely, we will get the smallest particle of it, which cannot be further divided. The smallest particles are known as atoms. What is the meaning of atom? Atom is a Greek word and its meaning is indivisible or uncuttable. Who made this unbelievable discovery? It is officially Dalton, but I should not forget the Indian contribution towards this. Kanada, also known as Kashipa, was an ancient Indian natural scientist and philosopher who was the founder of Vaisheshika school of Indian philosophy. In 600 BC, he proposed theories about the existence of atom. But he was a philosopher. He couldn't provide the mathematical evidence to support his theories. So his theories were not accepted that time. Later in 450 BC, the Greek scientist Democritus introduced the term atom. But the idea was essentially forgotten for more than 2000 years. Then later in 1800 AD, John Dalton reintroduced the term. He proposed a lot of theories about atoms and atomic existences and he is the father of atomic theories. Now, we have seen the history behind the chemistry of atoms. Now, let us study about the atomic structure. According to Dalton, atoms are indivisible. But later, this postulate was proven to be wrong. We can't divide an atom. But when we divide an atom, its property as an element will be lost. For example, if we take carbon and infinitely cut it, we will get the smallest particle of carbon. This is known as atom. Again, if we are dividing this atom, its property as carbon will be lost. And we will see subatomic particles inside it. What are subatomic particles? Subatomic particles are protons, electrons and neutrons. I have given signs here. That means proton is positive charge, electron is negative charge and neutron is neutral in nature. That is there is no charge for the neutron. And in the entire universe, the, all the things inside the universe is made up of these fundamental particles. Let us see how these fundamental particles are arranged in an atom. This model is known as Rutherford's atomic structure proposed by the scientist Rutherford. According to him, inside the atom in the center, a dense mass is present with a positive charge, which is known as nucleus. Inside the nucleus, protons and neutrons are present and electrons are revolving around the nucleus. I will show you, if this is the nucleus, protons and neutrons are present here and electrons are revolving around it. And most of the atom mass is concentrated in this nucleus because electrons mass is negligible. And the size of the nucleus is very small compared to the size of the atom. If we are comparing the atom to a big playground, Nucleus is a fly sitting in the center of the ground. Atomic system is the smallest system we ever know and this can be compared to the biggest system in the universe that is the solar system. In the atomic system, electrons are revolving around the nucleus and in solar system, planets are revolving around the sun. Same mechanism we can see. And one more amazing fact is that these electrons are revolving around the nucleus at the speed of 2500 km per second. Now let us see atomic number and mass number of an element. I will take the example sodium. Sodium's symbol I will write sodium. Atomic number 11 and mass number 23. I will take 
think always sodium is an example. I always feel that uh, sodium is a metal, but it is a very humble metal. Normally metals are very hard, but sodium, you know, you can keep it in your hand and you can cut it with a knife. It is so soft, but at the same time very reactive also. Anyway, you can see uh, the atomic number and mass number here. And atomic number, this is atomic number. Denoted by Z. This notation and you should know. And this is mass number. Denoted by A. Now what is atomic number? Atomic number Z equal to number of protons which will be equal to number of electrons inside an atom. Number of electrons. That means in a neutral atom, number of protons will be equal to number of electrons. Now what is mass number? That is A. Mass number is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons. That means from here we can understand 11 is the atomic number. That means inside the nucleus of sodium, 11 protons are there and... 11 electrons are the outside revolving. And how can you find out neutron? We can find out the number of neutron equal to A minus Z is equal to 23 minus 11 equal to 12. So we can understand here in sodium number of proton equal to 11 Number of electron equal to 11 and number of neutron equal to 12. These are the subatomic particles present inside the sodium atom. Now I can draw sodium atom and show. Sodium atom, first I will draw the nucleus. I told you the number of protons equal to 11. And number of neutron equal to 12. And number of electrons equal to 11. Which is equal to the number of protons. Now how they are arranged. It is very important to know how electrons are arranged inside an atom. I told you non-living things have their own unwritten rules. They are very obedient and they are very disciplined. Electrons will not be crowded here and there. They are arranged properly in orbits or shells. So this 11 electrons of sodium are arranged in three shells like this. The first two are arranged in the first shell which is known as K shell and second shell is known as L shell. Maximum capacity is only 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now I will draw here K shell, L shell. In K shell, 2 electrons are there. L shell, 8 electrons are there. Maximum capacity of K is 2, L is 8. And maximum capacity of the next shell, M, also is 8. But now we have only one more electron. That means 2 plus 8, 10, 10 plus 1, 11. 11 electrons are present in sodium. So this is the way electrons are arranged in sodium. And the way of arrangement of electrons inside an atom is known as electronic configuration. So this is the electronic configuration of sodium. other elements you can try how you will write the electronic configuration. These are the fundamentals for writing the formulae. With the next two classes I will come to the fundamentals of writing the formulae. Before that you should know how to write the electronic configuration. One more example I can tell you that is aluminium. Aluminium. Aluminium is atomic number 30 and mass number 27. For writing electronic configuration, mass number is not at all needed. Only atomic number is needed. So what is its electronic configuration? It will be 2. That is maximum number of electron in the case is 2. Then 8. L shell 8. 
2 plus 8 is equal to 10. Then rest is 3. That 3 will go to the third shell A. So this is how we are writing the electronic configuration. You can practice with other elements too.